Hi, we're currently trying for a baby and have been trying for um, over 18 months now, so for quite a long time. So I've spent endless hours on the internet and obviously now I'm, I'm with a fertility guy, so he's, you know, we're doing the artificial insemination at the moment and the HCG shot. But one thing that um, has been brought to my attention is how you don't always ovulate on this well some women don't always ovulate at the same time each month and i just wanted to highlight that fact because to give you an idea of what i'm talking about last month i ovulated on day 11 this month i ovulated on day 20 of my cycle so the difference there you're talking over a week aren't you um, now, when you do the artificial insemination and the HCG shot, you're given scans um, once you start getting to about day 10, um, so they can look at the follicles to determine when it looks like you're going to ovulate. So, you know, um, the, like I say, day the first month, two months ago, was day 11, um, and... We, I went in at day 11 on this month, uh, day 10, sorry, thinking that, well, he thought, my fertility guy, that there'd be the signs of the follicle, you know, getting nice and large, ready for ovulating, and there were no signs at all. And he, it was so tiny that he, he wanted me to leave it a week before I went back in. And like I say, it was confirmed that I ovulated on day 20. So this, uh, it's not surprising, really, that I've been struggling to get pregnant, but... Hopefully, uh, fingers crossed, I know the timing was perfect for the artificial insemination this month, so he's hoping uh, this is the lucky month I find out in the next uh, week or so, so uh, I'll definitely be putting it on here whether I am or I'm not. Alright, thanks for listening. Bye.